all right welcome back so let's get to it i'm gonna start from the kick because the genre that we're mixing is hip-hop is pop is r&b and it's all about the groove if you don't get your drums to knock like crazy i don't want to curse but <laughs> if you can't get your drums to knock like knock the you know you know what i mean if you can't get that you already took an L because the way the competition is right now, if your beat cannot crack these phone speakers or these laptop speakers or any other little speakers that you can find, you already took an L. It's as simple as that. So we're gonna start with that. What did I do to get this vocal I mean this drums to bang? So this is my drum boss. See, I had it uh, NLX. Just a tad bit. And a glue compressor right here. And that's it. Everything else, I did it inside the, the track. For your hip hop and pop and R&B, your kick is the most important. As far as I'm concerned, your kick is the most important thing. That's the number one thing you have to get right. If your kick cannot like crack every speaker and blow everything out, and you're not mixing, you're not producing, bro. So what did I do to this kick? Pay attention. I'm gonna play you the before and after. So I'm gonna take some of the chains out so you can actually hear the true before and the after, like we did for the vocal. You hear that? Dead. That's a, that's a dead kick right here. So let's wake it up. Oh, Lord. That is crazy. So what did we do? We added a little bit of pedal in Ableton Live they have a pedal plugin and the pedal plugin is just adding a little bit of uh, saturation if you're not using Ableton Live don't worry about it it's the concept that matter every DAW in 2020 has stuff like this Logic has it Studio One has it and I'm using the stock plugins right here this is stock plugin so let's take them out one by one so we can figure it out what exactly are they doing? You see that? Even that sounds good because it's hitting our, our saturation here. And uh, compression. Even that sounds good too because it's still hitting our Yeah, we need to take this out. So we added a little bit of this. Yeah, this is where all the crack came from, actually. Then, then this guy right here. So we had an R base, 80 hertz, and the parallel compression going on, adding a, a kind of attack. Then we took a little bit of uh, 200 out. They added this NLS bus. 
and so channel then this we add in like a hundred so let's take this out one by one figure out what they're doing individually oh this is just view meter nothing going on And uh, the boss kind of finish it off. So don't worry about that red, even though it's distorting, it's because that we want that distortion right there going through our, our buzz and we want that crack. So that's what we did for the kick. And the next thing was the 808. So the iterator, we added uh, our base 50, and we added this amp. The amp is just adding a little more saturation, so like small speakers can actually, you know, bring out the ring. Then we cutting off, uh, we cutting off the at six hundred to kind of clean it up. Then this attack, I mean this compression is giving us some attack by having uh, a medium attack and fast release. So without, where? Oh wow, that makes a whole lot of difference. Then we move to the snare drums. So what did we do to the snare drum? This other stuff that we're not using, let me take them out. So the snare drum by itself. So we add in some lows. Do we use this? I think we did. So this carver, carver is like an attack, attack uh, processor. So the bulk of the work is coming from this parallel chain right here. I call this wire because as a, as a drummer, I remember underneath the snare drum, there is a wire. And on top of the snare drum, there's a skin, which is like boop, boop. That's where you hear all the, the body of the snare. And underneath is the rattiness, the wire that gives you the 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 high end of your of your snare drum. So for this snare, 
you don't have a lot of that so I try to create that with this pile of processing right here you see that gave us some presence right there the stuff that wasn't there before or it was there it was not enough we accentuate it and bring it out see and see this this right here this frequency yeah so without it let me play it for you so we can see let's see right here it's there but we have more of the tone coming here so when I added that so we got it that so then I added another one for the body yeah even though we already have some body I just I just want a little bit more and palette that with the original so we got so from a snare sounding like this to this come on that's amazing right here so we added a pedal just giving us a little bit of uh, distortion just a tiny bit and the carver is just giving us more attack and I turn it down I brought down the width of the, the snare so it's not that spready it's a little more narrow closer to the center then we added a little bit of reverb without the reverb it sounds like this so when you had a tiny reverb to your snare what it does is it pushes behind your vocal so that's a little trick right there so we added a tiny one just like a room at uh, 851 milliseconds so that's what we did for the snare so what else we got here we got clap and uh, hi-hat so clap So the, the bulk of the job is from the kick and the snare and the 808 and the hi-hat too, yeah. But those are my main priority for me when I'm doing a mix for hip-hop, pop, R&B. The kick, the bass, the 808, the snare drum, the vocals. Those are my priority. And the hi-hat too sometimes. Those are my priorities. And once you're able to get that, just make just try to fit everything else around those and you're good so i didn't really do that much to the to the clap let's see what i do okay there's a compression right here two milliseconds and 125 then a little bit of amp kind of beef it up a bit then we turn it down a lot minus 10 db because we want it underneath the snare drum so let me solo the snare drum so you could hear it. let me solo both the snare and the clap that's good so that's our snare right there. So the next thing is the the high end, the high end. Oh. Yeah, sounds like uh, some some stuff clashing over there, but we'll leave it for now. So this is the first I had. So what do we do? We added a little bit of amp to kind of give us some high-end frequency. 
just a tiny bit, 15%. Then we'll roll off a whole bunch of junk that we don't need. 8K, 5K, and some 10K, 4K. So let me see what the frequency is doing because I'm tempted to see what's going on there. See? Oh, wow. Okay, let's take the EQ out so we can hear all the junk in there. You see it, that hat right there? Plus your snare drum, your clap, and the vocals, and what the music is doing. That will be a whole bunch of stuff going on. So we only wanted the particular frequency that we wanted, and every other thing took them out. And we use the width to kind of bring it down. Bring the, I mean, narrow it. The width just narrows it instead of being too stereo-ish. We kind of narrow it down. And turn it down by, I think it's 10 dB if I can see because there's light over here. I think that's 10 dB. Yeah. So that's the snare, I mean, I at one. I'm sure it's pre pretty much the same thing for the second one. Oh, this one is already. See, this eye doesn't have that much junk like the other one, so which is good. So we just we just added the the amp and just roll up 10k, and that was it. Did we do anything on the, the higher bus? Hmm, add a little bit of uh, overdrive, a little more of the amp. Then turn him up, that was it. Then on our buzz compression, we added, uh, I mean, on the drum buzz, we added the two NLS. So let's play the, the drums without these guys. Okay, with Well, that sounds good. So what is that uh that horns that was coming in? That sounds good. I'll oh, just you know show it to you guys. I think it's this one right here. Oh, nice. So we didn't even do much. So we just cut a little bit, 12k, and throw in like a big hall reverb right here. Yeah, that was it. A cluster hit. Ah. So that was that's it for the drums, man. I hope you learned something there. So the next part is the music. So do another video for the music.